nothing but a shower. Sitting right next to me is the brother of Gavin McInnes and the son of Jimmy McInnes. He's a progressive liberal activist, Miles McInnes. He's author of the new book, Bush Lied, Babies Cried, and a Panda Died. Uh, Miles, good to have you here. How's Thank your brother you. doing? Thank you very much. Who yeah. cares? <laughs> Who cares? Yeah. Uh, shouldn't there be another tween rapping about the economic benefits of fracking so there's some kind of balance? Uh, I don't think there is a balance for the fracking debate. I think that it's pretty clear <laughs> that injecting chemicals into Mother Earth is going to be problematic, <laughs> especially when we inject so many chemicals that tap water bursts into flames. <laughs> so, yeah, maybe kids should be made aware of this. We're turning water into fire. That's like Jesus in reverse. Well, what do you get these facts? <laughs> what do you mean? Go look it up. They can light their tap water on fire what because it, of fracking. Who? Who? Matt People Damon. People in the Northeast. That's never happened. Daryl Hannah. Where do you get this idea that they can, they're can they setting fire to their You've tap water? You've never seen people light their top water on fire? <laughs> no, I haven't. Okay, well, then I'm embarrassed for you. Maybe we should just stop and you should go Google. <laughs> All right. Is that where you get your information, just from Googling? Yeah, it's called the world. Wait, what is going on here? People light their top water on fire, and it's from fracking. Look at Burning Springs, New York. Yeah, uh, what about Burning Springs? They can light their top water on fire. Is there tap water, water okay? That's not relevant. How could something be okay if you can light it on fire? No, I mean, maybe their tap water's fine. Oh, yeah, okay. When was it named Let's Burning Springs? Let's all drink a big glass yeah. of gasoline. This wait, is fine. Well, wait, it's called, you say it's called Burning Springs? Yeah. Is that because they can do that and it's yet it's healthy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Even this is polluted. <laughs> 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 All right, Dana. Yeah. You've you've aged really a year just during this segment. Um, have the, you are a kind of a hip hop aficionado. <laughs> yeah. Um, have these young rappers changed your mind about fracking? Uh, <laughs> I think Don't Bill look thinks at me. this is funny. Don't look at him. Don't look at him. Uh, and I'll go to you, uh, Miles, because you seem to be the only one who really needs an education. This is class warfare. The people that come out against fracking don't have to worry about oil because they don't live in areas where these jobs could help them. People like you. Oh my God. So we're going to start uh, just creating environmentally destroying policies so people can have jobs. There are tons of jobs. Half of these people in these areas are in the Marines. They already have tons of work. You know what? There's the New York State did a comprehensive study of fracking and found out that it was safe. So your argument is really about oil. No, my argument is about, okay, it, maybe you guys need to read a, one Native American book. They, the <laughs> word for Earth is grandmother. Really? So when you frack, you're stabbing your grandmother in the back and injecting chemicals into her spine. Really? Does that sound smart? Ow. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't, but that's still not a fact. And why does a Marine need a job? He's in Afghanistan. Yeah, neither of these are facts. Hmm. Oh, this is insane. I don't know and why I do this show. <laughs> Native American is not a language. Yes, it is. What Have you ever heard of when they go like, <laughs> what is that? We're English? I don't that. think so. Uh, how did I get in your play just now? <laughs> in your little play. <laughs> All right. From a bad who's in jail, despite what Jesse says for slandering Muhammad, if he hadn't slandered Muhammad, he wouldn't be in jail. Now, you, as, uh, you must be outraged since you are for freedom of speech, right? <laughs> what is that look? When are you guys going to drop it, okay? Benghazi's not going to stick. You want it to stick so bad, you lied when Hillary got a tumor and said it was BS. I'm on the side of Jesse and Bill Schultz and Andy Levy. This guy violated his parole and he went to jail. It's called the law. I'm so okay? surprised because I thought that you would have been on the side of a political prisoner. Mm -hmm. Uh, it would have been Since if you, you hadn't made one. fun of a beautiful <laughs> culture of peace called Islam. And when he made that video, he made guys launch RPGs into the embassy. But uh, that was, that's been disproven. It was actually a planned attack. Uh, no, it just looked like a planned attack because that's how mad they were because that's how bad the video was. That's how enraging it was. No, even the administration has admitted it didn't happen that okay, way. Okay, you want it to stick so bad. It's a <laughs> molehill. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. And I'm on the Levy, Jesse, Bill side. So wait, 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 wait. I want to get to this. So basically you look at it as a team thing, that you're on a team. Well, that's what it comes down to. That's why you guys are excited, because it's a point for you. <laughs> oh, Benghazi, you guys fumbled the ball. Sorry, we didn't. It's gone. We're not even in what that if it game were anymore. What if it were a Republican president? Republican president uh, wouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> why, why, why do you pick on... Why do you pick on the way I dress all the time? And this guy has been sitting here looking like a Salvation Army exploded. 
or <laughs> like a homeless train conductor for the last 20 minutes and nobody said anything about it. From Yemen. <laughs> what do you say about that? <laughs> From Yemen. That was an excellent. <laughs> oh, that kind of hurt. That stung. It did. It felt really bad, but uh, at least I don't look like an accountant's uh, son in the basement. I'm just like a peace warrior. <laughs> Are you talking about I look like the sun in the no, basement? No, I, be I believe that was... <laughs> That's misogynist. I would never insult you, even if you killed me. <laughs> Why? Because it's sexist to insult women under any circumstance. <laughs> really? Yes. Oh, wow. What about Jody Arias? I think she was framed by a white male capitalist society. If you want to get into that, make that a talking point, if you can handle it. <laughs> what do you, where do you get the facts on that one? Oh my god, the facts. There's no such thing as facts. You can make statistics do whatever you want. Try new math. Yeah. 2 plus 2 is 5 now. Wake up, America. <laughs> That's a t-shirt. <laughs> it really is. You're in jail. He should have served more time. I like Theo Van Gogh's grandson. He didn't change his name, and it worked out, it no, didn't no, work out amazing. Guys, yeah. no, seriously, you had the President of the United States going on Letterman, mm -hmm. okay, and saying that the guy in jail, which is basically the one he's using to d disguise their failings and mm -hmm. also then their cover-up, and then they screwed up even more, he said that this is a shadowy character and that he's the one who caused people to die because he disrespected Islam. This is a guy who, he, say he violated his parole, fine. There's a hundred thousand of those out there. He is going to have to go into the witness protection program. Yeah, exactly. His life is over, as is this segment, because we're running out of time. Coming up, what kind of person comes to work dressed like Minnie Mouse and asks HR to paint her desk like a slice of Swiss cheese? We'll discuss Dana Prino's new book, I'm the Size of a Thimble. <laughs> it's on the best list, yes. <laughs> but first, are all wines the same? Probably. Well, now you don't have to watch. Firearm fe uh, felonies are low down as gun ownership seems to be expanding. Does that have any impact in your life? This is classic faux news. What is going on here is you are manipulating statistics to make yourselves the heroes. Mm -hmm. All I know when I turn on the TV is guys with assault weapons are killing people. Mm -hmm. People are blowing their heads off by accident. Yeah. And people are dying. And what's Fox's take on that? Oh, things are awesome. And it, they don't understand that magazine clips and assault rifles are killing babies. No. And it's like Pierce said, how many children have to die before we wake up? How, oh, I'm just curious, you're saying that wearing a che, uh, che Guevara hat. Yeah, he saved millions of lives. He <laughs> killed barely 3,000. Yeah, barely 3,000. And he saved, you know how much the other guy would have, Pinochet would have killed? Really? Yeah, he probably would have killed everyone in all of Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, uh, thoughts? <laughs> Let's think about Hawaii. <laughs> You're weird. Um, I think that the, the one thing that stuck out with me with the study is that uh, most of the gun violence, well, a lot of it, and a lot of the guns are in the South. So I want to know when are they going to put their money where their mouth is when they say the South shall rise again. We Yankees are not going to secede from ourselves. <laughs> Let's bring it on. And when you do, I will use the pen name Manatee Gray and write about your wonderful revolution. But when you think of gun violence, do you think of Jackson, what? Mississippi? Manatee Gray. No, my pen. you no. think of Chicago, Detroit. Cleveland, Cincinnati. People, died. It, it, there, people are dying right now at shootings, and they have assault weapons. If we can save just one life you know those are going with down, more though? regulation. So do you feel the same way about abortion? Like if you could save that's one child's different. life, why is it different? Freedom. <laughs> the, okay. <laughs> with I know that, it's, it's a woman's rights, so that's different, different lives. <laughs> but with assault weapons, you need to save the babies. No, it doesn't okay. work. You guys are insane. It's just so, you contort the statistics to make you win. Sometimes babies' lives are valid, other times they're annoying. <laughs> I, it's hard to argue with it. <laughs> hey, bizarre southern judge character. Attack a homeless train conductor character. Come on. This is like uh, a high school drama class. That really is awesome. All right, we got to take a break. Really a bad UCB. This is the only show on television like this, by the way. There might be a reason for that. There's, there's nobody at CNN going, hey, what are they doing? We're doing that at 8 o'clock. We'll call it blind. Although our ratings are better. Anyway, if you have a comment on the show, email us. It's redeye at foxnews.com. And you got a video of your animal doing something, something fun, exciting, interesting. Go to foxnews.com slash redeye and click on submit a video. We might use it. Still to come, the halftime report from TV's Andy Levy. He's our own little animal. Don't feed him.
Tonight's halftime report is at their tap water on fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah, except no. Uh, in fact, water, you could set your tap water on fire way before fracking was even invented. What happens is there were methane pockets uh, in the ground, and if you happen to live there near one of those, and if your well wasn't dug too uh, well, no pun intended, <laughs> you can, in fact, light your tap water on fire. Oh, okay, Andy. That makes total sense. Yeah, thank so you. it's perfectly environmentally normal mm -hmm. to light your tap water on fire. No, it's okay. not. It's just, it's just not caused by fracking. Uh, it has to be caused by fracking because in an area where they fracked, it right. happened. Right. Do the right. math. I, I did. I did do the math. It turns out two plus two is four because what happened was uh, yeah, every, time, the every time they've shown an example of where it's been blamed on fracking, it's turned out it's been uh, methane pockets. Oh my God! You guys have been so brainwashed by no, the gas cool. companies. I, it's I, embarrassing. I, I accept your apology, <laughs> uh, Jesse. You don't seem to care about this too much, and I, I'm kind of with you. I don't care that much. <laughs> I'm <pencil>. sorry. <laughs> I smoked said. the joint before the show. <laughs> 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 it's so strong now. <laughs> He's getting back at me. He totally just pissed on my no, punchline. Actually, as a direct to be result of the pro fact that, hydro. That I now I want to say to the world, slow it down. You no, guys are making it too strong. He's doing that because <laughs> this weird Scottish <laughs> liberal character that he does. <laughs> You're combining two separate. That's what he's doing. <laughs> well, I can't tell the difference. Can you finish your joke? I was. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Sean Connery and the... Sean Connery, he did he, uh, just, just like a seven-year-old to bring a pencil to a gunfight. And he blew him away. Was, right? It's an adorable, it was the uh, Untouchables reference. I thought it was Come awesome. on, right? Don't get Big mad time. at me. Get mad at not... these dealers. <laughs> <laughs> Miles, should I skip you for doing that? No, I swear to God, I could not control that cough. <laughs> Going around. My kids, I didn't get them vaccinated because it causes AIDS. Yes. And they all have measles and leprosy now. And I got to be frank, I don't have the immune system to deal with it because my parents didn't give me vaccinations either. But, uh, sorry. Um, Michael Moore made it very clear. We live in a gun culture. The reason we had Columbine and all these horrible events is because we brainwash our young boys into being violent and playing cops and robbers mm -hmm. and playing cowboys and Indians. And the fact that these teachers, mostly female, are sort of declaring boredom over mm -hmm. and penalizing them not just for guns but for any kind of rambunctious behavior is... <laughs> Sounds a bit extreme, yeah. but in the long run, it's sort of like David Lynch with his meditating thing. Mm -hmm. It sends out positive energy. What did you play as a child? Well, we only had wooden horse cars, oh. <laughs> little wheels that had been made by uh, blind people of some sort of a tribe. By I didn't Turks. even know, because my dad said that would be judgmental. <laughs> <laughs> they Bill. were artisanal, of course. Bill. Uh, yes, he didn't say that, but I, I, I put those words in his mouth. So. <laughs> I, you're not talking to your dad. What well, was my surrogate dad, <laughs> who was our yoga instructor? <laughs> That's nice. Last word, Bill. I'm confused as to what we're talking about anymore. Are we talking about leprosy vaccines, <laughs> scenes know. from the Untouchables, a teacher or the told McGinnis a child Lydia's not to kill people, and all Fox goes, "Ooh, that's bad," because they want young men to be out there killing for oil. <laughs> This is the most powerful name in rants tonight, <laughs> yes. and I don't know where I am at. We gotta take a break. I don't know where I am either. That was not very lightning y. No, uh, no. That was not a lightning <laughs> round. Maybe you guys should have Rant Coulter on the show so she can get more attention. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good play on words. You gotta give them that. Hey, Rant Coulter. Yeah. Nicely done. You probably hate wine uh, because it's a sign of uh, the bourgeoisie. Actually, I cannot resist a good Pinot Grigio. <laughs> yeah. I think it's a really delicious. I'm not, I, I like, I, the working class can enjoy their PBR. I wish I could, but I'm just too refined. And of course it's real. Of course. So the guy from Sideways is an idiot, illiterate, who doesn't know what the word nonplus means and didn't make an awesome movie? Of course not. People who love wine are really awesome, but not in the least bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, I know what the word nonplussed means. I guess this is what you call a callback to a show from three weeks ago. Bill, you make Friends your own... Friends will understand! <laughs> <laughs> Bill, you make your own wine out of rain and shoelaces. Jewelry? <laughs> Except for jewelry. All right, we'll close things out with a <laughs> It's completely fine. Formerly known yeah. as the Chortle Hut. Yeah. Uh, Miles, you got anything real quick? 
Yeah, I don't actually go on Fox News and try to sell stuff so I can get rich and exploit people. Okay. How do you, how do you, uh, who works in your family? Wife works on Wall Street. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Caution!